From Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game. And here are today's newlyweds. Couple number one, married 11 months, Tracy and Jeff Long. Couple number two, married 12 months, Myra and Jewel Smith. Couple number three, married six months, Lisa and Sylvester Mora. And couple number four, married just two and a half months, Mika and Bill Buffington. And now, uh, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. And a special hello to our newlywed couples over there. And ladies, it's time for you to head off to our soundproof room. All right, guys, while the ladies are leaving, I want to remind you that I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Now, if her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And it's the couple with the most points at the end of the show that will win a fabulous second honeymoon. So, the ladies are gone. And, gentlemen, here's your first five-point question. Tell me, guys, what's the one thing your wife will say that she is most likely to lie about? Would it be her age, her weight, or her bra size? William, what do you think she'd lie about most? Age. Her age. How old is she? 25. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sylvester? I would have to say her weight. Her weight. How much do you think she weighs? No impact. No idea. You don't have any idea? I don't even want to go there. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Jewel, it would it be um, her age, her weight, or her bra size? Her age. You can lie about her age? Yeah. You know how old she is? Yeah. Oh, yes. good. All yes. right. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> I think probably her weight. Her weight? Yes. All right. Next question, gentlemen. Out of all the people the two of you know, who will your wife say you think would be the most successful getting dates at a nude beach? Give me a first name only, please. Okay? Out of all the people, Sylvester, that you, that you guys know, who do you think she will say would be most successful getting a date at a nude beach? We would have to say Kim. Kim? Yes. Who's Kim? She's a friend of mine's wife. Ooh. What's so cool about her? <laughs> I wouldn't know, Bob. I, oh, I don't I see, know. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just listening to what other you people You don't know say. how much she weighs. You don't know who Kim is. Okay. Yeah. Jewel. Michael. Michael would be most successful at a nude beach. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Uh, he's a buddy of mine, um, and, and he's always trying to, uh, you know, like, like when he see another girl, he just go okay. and, All right. you know. Yeah. Jeff. Um, Probably her friend Jojo. Jojo. Yeah, she. Look at him smile, will you? <laughs> <laughs> she's a high school friend of hers back in Chicago, and she they were on the high cheerleaders together. And I met her once, and she looked like she'd do okay on a nude beach. <laughs> Good luck, guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Who would it be? I'd say her friend Christy. Uh, this. This is her friend. Every time when she comes around, you know, a lot of a lot of my my buddies, and my friends, when they were at the wedding, they all were inquiring. They wanted to know yeah. who she was. So I, I say Chris. Because you don't look at her, do you? No, nah, not me. Oh, out of boy, good. With my okay. friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. The last time my wife served me her special homemade blank, I didn't know whether to have it with wine or have it with Maalox. Last time, uh, Jules, she served you her special homemade blank. You didn't know whether to have it with wine or Maalox. What would it be? Her homemade uh, tacos. Tacos? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Jeff? Um, her homemade frozen chicken pot pies. Homemade frozen chicken <laughs> pot pies. <laughs> Last time she made them, they were still frozen she makes when them I and got she them. She freezes them, I see. <laughs> William, what would it be? Uh, I'd say her homemade. This is dangerous. Her homemade stir fry. Homemade stir fry. Yeah. Wine or Maalox, huh? Yeah. All right, Sylvester? My wife is such a great cook, I don't know what to say, but I'll say the last dish she made, she made some barbecue ribs and they were outstanding. Homemade barbecue ribs. You didn't know whether it happened with wine or Maalox. That's your answer? All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be right back to reunite our newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Hey, you're watching The Newlywed Game with me, Bob Eubanks. Stay tuned.
to the newlywed game. Now, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You've got them flat on your laps. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. And it's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that's going to win that wonderful second honeymoon. So, ladies, we're glad you're back. And here's our first question for five points. Tell me, ladies, what is the one thing you're most likely to lie about? Would that be your bra size, your weight, or your age? Tracy, what would you be most likely to lie about? Bra size, weight, or age? Oh, most definitely, Bob, my weight. Your weight, all right. Uh, Jeff said most definitely you would lie about your weight. You're right, all right. Uh, how much do you weigh? Uh, nationwide TV, I have to be honest. <laughs> you want to whisper it to me? Yes. Uh, um, let's be honest here, right? Oh, let's go with 125. Okay, we'll short. go with 125. <laughs> Is she lying, Jeff? I don't know nothing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> Myra, what are you most likely to lie about? Your bra size, your weight, or your age? That would definitely be my age. Your age? Yes. All right. He said yes. it would definitely be your age. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa. I'm going to have to say my weight, Bob. Your weight. All right. He said that you're, you're more likely to lie about your, uh, it's your weight. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing fine with this one. Miko, what do you think? Knowing him, it would have to be bra size because that's what he always calls attention to. Oh, he, oh yeah, yeah. Is he not happy with your bra size? Yes, he is. Oh, I see. He said you're most likely to lie about your, uh, your age. Oh. Age. No problem with the bra size. All right, here's our next question, ladies. Out of, think about this now. Out of all of the people the two of you know, who does your husband think? would be the most successful getting dates at a nude beach. And give me a first name only, please. Uh, Myra, out of all the people the two of you know, who did he say would be the most successful getting dates on a nude beach? First name uh, only, please. Michael. Michael. He predicted you would say it would be Michael. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You want to tell me what's so special about Michael? <laughs> we actually had a conversation about Michael just this morning. And what did we say about him? Michael is different. He's very, very different. He's out there. He, he, outgoing. He loves that, oh, yeah, he'd, he'd have women. fun at a new beach then, wouldn't he? Yeah. He loves women. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll probably get in trouble for this one. I'm going to have to say my friend Tony. Tony, you know what he said? He said, about all the people you know, it's, uh, no, it's Kim. Oh, oh it's Kim. yeah. Remember when y'all went to Ocean yeah, City, Maryland? Yeah, yeah, They went to Ocean City, Maryland, and her friends wouldn't take Kim because Kim is all that. <laughs> kind of like so, Michael, she's out there. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mika? I would have to say my friend Christy because all his friends are crazy about Christy. So you think it's your friend Christy? All right, he yeah. predicted you would say it was, uh, ba boom Christy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is she really that special? My friends think so. No, no, I'm asking her. <laughs> His friends think so. Oh, I see, yeah. But Real does your husband girl. look at Christy at all, do you think? <laughs> he better not. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I think he does, but I don't know. No, Tracy? No. I have to say my dear friend back in Chicago, JoJo, who he thinks is the sweetest and most attractive. You mean the one you went to high school with? <gasps> yes. <laughs> you mean the one that is whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Yeah. Yes, that Jojo. Jojo. Is that the one? That would be her. Whoo! He said, of all the friends, it would be oh. Jojo. Yeah. He was very impressed with Jojo. I know. Yeah. We talked about it. <laughs> oh my God. Next question. Last of our questions here, guys. Ladies, how did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. He said, the last time my wife served me her special homemade blank. I didn't know whether to have it with wine or have it with Maalox. Last time you served in that special homemade what, Lisa? Fajitas. Fajitas. All right. Sylvester said the last time you served in that, that homemade barbecue ribs, he didn't know. Oh, oh, my ribs were good. That was the last time you cooked for me, though. So, you were cooking so great. How long ago was that, Sylvester? Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> That's a, that, the kid hasn't eaten since Saturday? <laughs> It's between me and the dog. It's survival for the dog bow. God. Mika. I would have to say chicken teriyaki with vegetables. Chicken teriyaki. All right. He said the last time you served him that, uh, that homemade stir fry. Yeah. That's it. Oh, that's, that's it? One? Let me see what the judge says. That's it. 
Judge, you say that's it? Yeah. All right. Judge, say that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy. Uh, home cooked. Now, last time you, you're. Or wait, meal at home? Can we go with? A special homemade blank. Oh, I'm going to have to go with this. I attempted, well, chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Was it home cooked? Well, let's say it was the best I could do. Come I see. Up with. Yeah. He, he predicted it would be that, uh, yeah, that frozen chicken pot pie. Oh yeah. <laughs> she didn't even cook it. I mean, she, she microwaved it, but Does half the time. Does she cook much at home? She does, I cook. Oh, she doesn't oh. cook hardly at all. I'm trying to teach her, but she's it's a slow study. Oh. It'll be frozen tonight, too, pal. Right. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm not talking about food, either. <laughs> Myra, last time you served your famous homemade what? I have to say this is really hard because I cook very well, so Jill couldn't have come up with any answer. Well, he had an answer like, just like he that. He could not have come up with he any answer. He had five answer. answers. I had to pin him down to one. <laughs> I don't believe that. I can't think of one answer. What would it be? I'm going to say stir fry. Stir fry. He said no. When you served him that, 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 those tacos, <laughs> I never cook tacos. <laughs> Oops. We'll be back to see how well the wives will predict what their husbands will say right after these messages.
I'm Bob Eubanks, and you're watching the Newlywed Game on Buzzer TV. Let's play. And welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Now, ladies, your husbands have been secluded off stage. Your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, each of these questions will now be worth 10 points. So here's our first one. Ladies, which one of the following questions will your husband say you think best describes his behavior in the whoopee department last week? We're describing his behavior. Would it be, are you awake? Are you in a hurry? Or, are you kidding? <laughs> describing, Lisa, his behavior in the whoopee department last week. Are you awake? Are you in a hurry? Or are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to say, are you awake, Bob, because... <laughs> are you saying, are, am I awake? Yeah, no. I'm awake. <laughs> what my husband would say is, are you awake? Are you awake? Are you awake. You have a little trouble keeping him awake, did you? He works a lot, and okay. when he gets home... Boink. Boink. Yeah. Myra? <laughs> okay. I would have to say, are you in a hurry? Are you in a hurry? Yes, because, well, I'm a pretty busy person, and he tries to get in as much as he can. <laughs> Not when with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Tracy? Definitely, are you awake? Are you awake? Yes. All right, great. Mika, describing his behavior. I would say that he, to describe him would be, are you awake? Because he would definitely always ask, are you awake? Not ask, but... But we're, we're talking about his behavior now. So it would be, are you... Are you awake? Awake. All right. Thank you. Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. With a little makeup, a new hairdo, and the right clothes, my husband could do a great female impersonation of who? I mean, if we had a little makeup for him and a new hairdo and the right clothes, Trace, he could do a, a, a great female impersonation of who? Uh, my first thought is Madonna. That's fine with is me, Madonna. Who? I like to dance I think it's the, the beard that will do it, yeah. Mika? Oh, yeah. I would say Whitney Houston. You think so? <laughs> yes, he can sing really well. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of makeup to do it. I don't know. <laughs> Lisa? I'm going to have to say Tony Braxton because he thinks he can sing like her. Tony Braxton. Mm -hmm. All right. And Myra. Give me Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. All right. Here's yeah. a 25 point bonus question. Ladies, in feet, in feet now, how far will your husband say he sits from the television that he watches the most? And your answers must match exactly. How far does he sit from that TV, Mika? In feet. Six feet. Six feet. Lisa. I'll say six feet, Bob. Six feet, Bob. Myra. Four feet. Four feet. Yeah. And Tracy. Eight. Eight what? Feet. Thank you very much. Thank Ladies, thank you. <laughs> we'll be back with our husbands to compare answers on the newlywed game right after the <laughs> Tired of losing in life? <laughs> now, Buzzer brings you better living through advertising. Vintage game shows with cool commercials left in. Tonight, starting at 4, only on Buzzer.
to the newlywed game. Everybody's got some points, so everybody's having a good time. Gentlemen, these are our 10-point questions, and we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Here's our first question. Tell me, guys, which of the following questions did your wife say best describes your behavior in the whoopee department last week? Are you in a hurry? Are you awake? Or are you kidding? Jewel, describing your behavior in the whoopee department last week. You in a hurry? You awake? Are you kidding? Okay, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Um... I would have to say, just kind of hard because I don't think they'll apply. But uh, let's say, uh, hurry, please. Oh, oh, are you in a hurry? Are you in a hurry? All right. She said last week, describing your 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 behavior in the whoopee department is. Yes. Are you in a hurry? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester. <laughs> Sylvester, what do you think? I would have to say, are you in a hurry? Are you in a hurry? She said last week, describing you as, are, are you, you awake? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously in a hurry to go back to sleep. Is that what you're doing? What do you think, William? Are you in a hurry? Are you in a hurry? She said, describing you as it, are you awake? What? Not I'm not a awake. hurry. You're uh, never I'm in a awake. hurry. I'm woke. <laughs> you're what? I'm woke. You're whooped? Awake. <laughs> oh, awake. Oh. It said whooped. That's what I was talking about, whoopee. Yeah. Jeff? Um, probably have to be, are you kidding? Are you kidding? You kidding? Yeah. <laughs> no. Does he try to get a little funny sometimes? Well, more, sometimes, but not lately, last week. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. me too. Okay. Oh, you too. I see. Yeah. Ready? All right. Now, she said it would be uh, describing you as, are you awake? Oh. Here's the next question. Now, gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? Now, remember, this is her talking, okay? With a little makeup and a new hairdo and the right clothes, my husband could do a great female impersonation of who? I mean, if you had the right makeup, William, and, and you had the right hairdo and the right clothes, you could do a female impersonation of who? Of my sister. What's her name? Deidre. Who? Deidre. Deidre. Your sister? All right. She said, no, you could do uh, Whitney, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. <laughs> Deidre. <laughs> They call my sister Bill with a wig. You're right. You're right. Whitney Houston. What do you think, Jeff? We put a little, uh, the right clothes on you, a little makeup, a little hairdo. You could do an impersonation of who? I don't know, Dolly Parton? Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> I have no uh, clue. Give yourself hey. some credits. You know, no, Dolly you know, Parton doesn't have a beard. You know, yeah. <laughs> no, she said you could do an impersonation of, uh, you ready for this one? Madonna. I like the dance around, uh, I don't know, sing and dance. Dolly and, Parton. Oh, please, Madonna? Jewel. Oh, well, uh, let's see, um, uh, Tina Turner. Tina Turner, with a mustache. She said, no, you can do an impersonation of, card please, it would be Whitney. It would be Whitney. 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 Because you're so talented. You sing Whitney. so well, Jude. You sing like Whitney? Yes, yeah, sure you can. <laughs> sure you can. Yes, oh, you can. man. Oh. Give us another taste. Yeah, can yeah, you sing yeah. like Tina? T I figure my body might look like hers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my legs, I guess. Like I May I assure you it doesn't? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvester. I would have to say Madonna. 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 No, no, no. She says that it would be uh, Tony Braxton. You think you sing like Tony Braxton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish we had time. <laughs> I'm really glad we don't. Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their fabulous second honeymoon. You're off to Kauai. Romance is redefined at the Kauai Marriott Resort and Beach Club. Where cascading waterfalls, lush tropical gardens, and dazzling white sand beaches create a truly unforgettable honeymoon setting. Experience the splendor that is the Kauai Marriott Resort and Beach Club. Now, back to you, Bob. Pretty nice indeed. All right, gentlemen, here it is, your big 25-point bonus question. For 25 points, gentlemen, in feet, in feet, how far do you sit from the television you watch the most? Your answers must match exactly. Let's go to couple number three with five points. 25 would give you 30. Get it right, you'll be in the first place, Sylvester. 10 feet. 10 feet. She predicted you would say, no, the card right there on top of your lap. Oh. There we go. That, six feet, she said. No. Oh. Couple number four, William and Mika with 10. 25 would give you 35. Hey, William, take over the lead with the correct answer. Seven feet. Seven feet, she said. Six oh, six feet. feet. Ah, if you had just moved forward a little I bit, you'd have points. <laughs> Laying down or sitting? Couple number one, Jeff and Tracy with 15, 25 would give you 40. Jeff, what do you say? 
Ten feet. Ten feet. She predicted you would say eight feet. No. Well, couple number two, Jewel and Myra, you have 20 points. You've already won the game, but just for the record, what do you say? Uh, one feet. One foot. One feet. Okay. <laughs> that, she thought you would say, card please, card please, <laughs> Myra. No, four feet, but you got 20 points, so Jewel and Myra, you're our Living Legends like Grand Prize winner. Fabulous second honeymoon. I want to thank all of our couples. And most of all, thank you. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.